Today, in this Christmas season, I want to talk to you about when there was an awful lot put into a little cradle. I'm going to read to you from Matthew chapter 2. I'm going to read verses 1 and 2, and then I'm going to skip over to verse 11. Ready? Matthew chapter 2, starting at verse 1. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. Now, verse 11. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. There are many wrong ideas about what the Bible says happened at the birth of Jesus. Many of these have to do with the wise men from the East. The Bible never says that there were three of them, but we like to sing the song, We Three Kings of Orient Are. The Bible never says that they were kings. They were an order of Persian wise men known as Magi. The Bible does not tell them that they came on the night that Jesus was born, but probably in his first year, having set out the night that he was born. We know this from the biblical record. We know that they brought at least three fitting gifts for the child and fitting for the man that Jesus would grow up to be. They brought a gift of gold, which is a fitting gift for a king. In ancient Persia, whenever one appeared before the king, they had to have a gift of gold. These Persian wise men honored a child as a king. Strange, isn't it? Children aren't born kings. They're born princes, and later they become kings. But this child was different. He is king of kings and lord of lords, and he will reign from the throne of David forever and ever. Frankincense is a fitting gift for a priest. Frankincense is a glittering, fragrant resin that comes from trees. It was used as incense by the priests of Israel and is a picture of prayer and intercession in the Bible. What an appropriate gift for Jesus, who is our high priest, our intercessor before God. In Scripture, a priest represents who God is to the people, and he represents the people before God. Jesus did both of these perfectly. It says that he ever lives to pray for his people. Myrrh is a fitting gift for someone who would die. Myrrh is a fragrant spice used primarily in embalming. This was an appropriate gift for Jesus who came to die. Even now, the pale shadow of the cross It casts its dark image over the cradle of Jesus. Lying there in that cradle was a man born to live, to show us God, to heal and to teach. But more than anything, he was born to die. On the cross, he bore the judgment we deserved. And he stood in the place for all of those who would receive him. All of that is a lot for God to put inside a cradle. But he did. And we are invited to receive Jesus Christ as our king, as our high priest, and as the one who paid the price for the sin that we deserve to pay. So today, trust him. Celebrate the greatness of Jesus, even in a cradle. (music) 